What is up? Turtle here coming at you with another Pokemon opening. There has been some new products that released. We got some new Pokeballs, uh, the Ultra Ball. I'm not sure if this Pokeball is actually new, but definitely this Dive Ball is new. Toxtricity, new V box. But that's not what we're going to be opening today. Today we have the new V tins. I'm just going to call that. We got um, Inteleon, Syndrace, and Rillaboom tins. We're going to be opening all three of them for you. Uh, kind of do like a opening slash review of this product. They do MSRP for $25. I feel like that's kind of high, but we'll take a look at how good the promos are and see what kind of pack selection they have. Let's get started. All right, we will start by getting these guys open. It'll take a little bit. I feel like the bar is set pretty high. The last time they kind of had these kind of price tins and actually they're in the same shape where all those tag team boxes and some of those are really good for example like the Mewtwo Mew one such a good promo they peek around one a while back during team up so the bar is kind of high it doesn't come with that pretty cool GX counter and the packs a little bit different packaging and let's see what we got for packs two sword and shield very good one cosmic eclipse night ooh a burning shadows I'm all for that hopefully the card quality is there and evolutions all right so we still got xy packs in there and a couple people were speculating that all right well some future products looks like they'll have sun and moon packs like um what was it guardians rising and going back and forth whether or not that's better with evolutions just they made some compelling arguments so i'm not really sure but usually there's one pack that i kind of consider just a little bit too old to my liking and maybe we'll just leave it at that. Uh, so MSRP of $25 is kind of like $5 a pack. Then you get the promo. Which um, I think you basically need some pretty good hits to kind of like make it worth it. So I'm not sure if all these promos will be in the upcoming set to Rebel Clash. I would imagine they are, but if they aren't, that kind of brings a lot of value to these tins. Uh, some of the V Maxes are pretty cool. I think the one that I'm most excited for is that Rillaboom. And if this is the only way you can get the regular V, that obviously helps the value of these tins. But I'd kind of be surprised if that's the case. I mean, if we take all those tag team cards, they, these were just alternate arts that came in these tins, which I did really appreciate. But obviously they were in Still the other sets, this was just like one of the three or four arts that you could obtain. So if I had to guess, I imagine these all the cards will be available in Rebel Clash. And our last one is the Syndrace. And while I get this last one open, as always guys, if you do want to support the I Want a Turtle channel, you can simply do so by hitting that like button. And if you're not already subbed, I encourage you to subscribe so you do get... So you are aware of whenever we do upload new content we're going to be opening all those new products but i feel like this one is probably the most exciting one so that's why we're going to start with this let's take a look at syndrace first field runner if the stadium is play this has no retreat costs that's not bad i mean there's almost always a stadium i guess uh crimson legs for 140 though that is super vanilla intellion intellion always does interesting stuff Snipe Shot does 40 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon, kind of weak, but it's only one energy. And then Aqua Report, 130, your opponent reveals their hand. You don't do anything with it. Uh, but, again, I feel like all the Vs are kind of underwhelming. V is just like a high HP Pokemon that's two prizes that you're just supposed to evolve, in my opinion. Forest Fee, search your deck for up to two basic grass Pokemon, put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck, Woodhammer, 220. 20, uh, 30 damage to itself. I think this one is the coolest one, that Forest Feast. Uh, that could be a pretty good turn one attack if you're kind of going second. Just to set things up, maybe you're grabbing some uh, basic Grookies to evolve into some Rillabooms. Alright, so that means we do have uh, 15 packs to open. We will save all the Sword and Shield for last. Then we'll go Cosmic Eclipse. Ooh, Burning Shadows. I'm actually excited for Burning Shadows. Maybe we'll save the Burning Shadows for last, actually. And why am I struggling to organize these? Alright, let's start with Evolutions. There is some kind of cool stuff you can get in these packs. I guess some of those like full art Megas would be nice. Alright, let's see what we can do. Polyworld, Pokedex, Potion, Electabuzz, Magikarp, a Ghastly, Sandshrew, Weedle, 
a trainer reverse and then a eradicate so just looking at the contents uh you know given that we are still i guess it's almost about march you know two months away from rebel clash I do think this product is okay to pick up one of, you know, if you do want those V cards just to have. Uh, whether it's worth it kind of like long term, I definitely would say no. I think, think this is not a great product, but, uh, you know, I feel like they timed it pretty well where the appeal of the promos is pretty high. So I think that's probably going to be my review. Obviously, there's two sides of it is, you know, how good is the product and then how good were our pulls. So far, these XY packs, not doing anything. Haven't even got a foil. Let's see. Poliwag, Seal, Magikarp, Eradicate, and then a Blastoise EX. All right, we got a pretty cool turtle. We got a Mega Turtle. Very nice. Happy with that. All right, let's see. Let's go to Cosmic Eclipse next. So, if you did pre order it, I think uh, I usually buy stuff off Game Nerds. And I think the way that they did it was you could pick up all three for 55, which is quite a deal. And I would say that I would, in my opinion, was worth it. Again, primarily just because it's going to be quite a while before you can see these cards in Rebel Clash. So at pre-order prices, I would say it's a pretty good buy other than that MSRP. Again, if you're just looking for the promos and something cool to open, that would be but I don't think you're going to get your money's worth. Buzzwall with Beast Boost. Kind of a cool card. Didn't do much. Uh, kind of powers up as you take prizes. It would be sick to pull an ADP. In case we want to create that ridiculously strong ADP Zacian deck. Tag Call. Still a good card. Full Force, Flabebe, Sneasel, Nat 2, Trap Pinch, Spiel, a Island Challenge Amulet, and then a Fion, which is not bad. Okay, so, so far we've opened, this will be our six packs, and we've only got one hit. But hey, you know what, maybe we'll get, there's still a lot of, you know, we definitely go and backload this opening, so that's where all the big cards is in the Sword and Shield packs, and then those Burning Shadows. God, I hope that the print quality is there. That was kind of like one of the biggest emotional roller coasters on this channel when we pulled a hyper rare rainbow Charizard. That was in terrible condition. All right, Sword and Shield. This is where probably the best hits can be found. Let's see how we do. And if you kind of disagree with the, kind of like the assessment that I kind of threw up there, let me know in a comment down below as far as why you think that. So I'm definitely uh, open to other opinions. And a Sendicabra with a Gengar. Actually, this Gengar is pretty cool as often as you like. You may move down damage counter from one of your psychic Pokemon to another. All right, come on, let's get at least one Sword and Shield hit. One Zacian is all it takes. At least against the pre-order price. Rosalia, Joltik, Silly Cobra. But of course, when you kind of pick up these products like this, you can get multiple hits. You can get zero hits. So far, we've opened out of 15 packs. I guess this is our ninth one, and so far we have one hit. Again, at this point, only takes one. Here we go. Snom. Grookey, very cute. A Mawile Poltegeist. And Intellion with Shady Dealings. Three more... Sword and Shield Packs, come on, give me an Ultra Rare. Raboot, Rare Candy, Lumberry, Sizzlepede, Salandit, a Wulu is our Reverse, come on, ah, just a Thievul. It's 
It's not going great, guys. Come on, let's get some good luck here. Switch, energy retrieval, Chincho, Ponyta, a reverse Raboot. Ah, Roserade. All right, come on. This is our last Sword and Shield pack. Zacian pack art. Let's get a Zacian inside. Come on. Let's do it. Oh, shout outs to Pogo Dad, who was the winner of our most recent ETB giveaway. If you haven't seen his channel, I recommend you do check it out. Pulty guys again. Oh, gosh. Wow, six Sword and Shield packs, all whiffs. So, so far, product review is, is this a good product? It's okay at best. Is this a good opening? No. <laughs> all right, but definitely we can redeem ourselves with these Burning Shadows packs. Some absolute heavy hitters in this in this set. Noibets. All right, let's see, Riolu. Dynamo. By this point, we're kind of going. We need like a home run. We're look talking, you know, there's only a handful of ultra rares that we'd like to see. And then obviously, secret rare, sky's the limit. With the potential there. And they also have things like Acerola and Guzma. Actually, though, we haven't... I guess the good news is, at least of the rare slot, the print quality is pretty good. Simisir, Oddish, oh, we did this one correctly, and a Porygon Z. Wow, only one hit out of 14 packs. That is a terrible ratio. <laughs> Put F in a comment to pay your respects. All right, last pack. What am I doing? All right, there we go. Wick. All right, here we go. Come on, come on. Riolu, Mount Lanakila, and oh, Toxic Croak. Wow, this was rough. All right, quick recap. These are the promos that, unless you really want these, I don't. Uh, I would say this is not a great product, but if these are kind of cool just to have again two months ahead of rebel clash rillaboom doesn't sound bad i however without the v max card to evolve into i don't think it's worth it and we only need to get one hit in this mega blastoise but hey we pulled a turtle i guess that was a little rough not gonna lie all right guys that's gonna be it for me today as always thanks for watching thanks for all the support i'm a turtle and i'll catch you guys next time